Welcome! Today, we will explore 10 amazing extinct animals and learn about the exciting scientific efforts to bring some of them back to life. From the mighty woolly mammoth to the mysterious Tasmanian tiger, each of these creatures has a unique story. Let's dive into their world and discover what makes them so special and how science is working to revive these lost species. Number one, great auk. The great auk was a large bird that couldn't fly. It lived in the North Atlantic Ocean area, but disappeared in the mid 1800s because people hunted it too much. Scientists have found some well-preserved specimens and DNA from the great auk, which gives hope that it might be brought back to life. The closest living bird related to the great auk is the razor bill, which could be used as a surrogate to help hatch the great auk's eggs if the de-extinction process moves forward. Number 2. Dodo The dodo was a large, flightless bird that lived on the island of Mauritius. It went extinct around 400 years ago because humans hunted it and brought animals like rats and pigs that ate its eggs. Since then, the dodo has become a symbol of animals that disappeared because of human actions. Scientists have found some dodo DNA and are studying its closest living relative, the Nicobar pigeon. They hope that one day, with new technology, they might be able to bring the dodo back to life. Number 3. Saber-Toothed Tiger The saber-toothed tiger, also known as Smilodon, was a big predator that lived a long time ago. It is famous for its very long, curved teeth that looked like swords. Scientists have found many of its fossils in places like tar pits, where its bones and sometimes even DNA are well preserved. The closest living relatives of the saber-toothed tiger are today's big cats, like lions and tigers. However, bringing the saber-toothed tiger back to life is very difficult because of big differences in genetics and the problems with finding a suitable animal to carry its babies. Number 4. Woolly Mammoth The woolly mammoth was a large furry elephant that lived during the Ice Age. It had long tusks and thick fur to survive in the cold. Scientists have found frozen mammoth bodies in Siberia with well-preserved DNA, fur, and organs. This gives them a good chance to bring the mammoth back using the DNA and by using an Asian elephant, which is a close relative, as a surrogate mother. The idea is to mix mammoth genes with elephant genes and grow the baby in a lab or inside an elephant. If successful, we might one day see a woolly mammoth alive again. Number 5. Tasmanian Tiger Thylacine The Tasmanian Tiger, or Thylacine, was a carnivorous marsupial that lived in Australia and Tasmania and looked like a dog with stripes on its back. It went extinct in the 20th century, mainly due to hunting and habitat loss. Scientists have preserved much of its DNA, which is very important for bringing it back. The thylacine has close living relatives like the numbat and Tasmanian devil, which are also marsupials. These animals could potentially be used to help revive the Tasmanian tiger through advanced genetic techniques and by acting as surrogate mothers. Although bringing the thylacine back is very challenging, the preserved genetic material and related species make it one of the better candidates for de-extinction efforts. Number 6. Cave Lion The cave lion was a big wild cat that lived in Europe and Asia during the Ice Age. It disappeared thousands of years ago, but scientists have discovered frozen baby cave lions in Siberia that still have their fur, soft tissues, and well-preserved DNA. This excellent preservation makes it easier to study their genetic material. Because the cave lion is closely related to modern lions, researchers believe they could use today's lionesses as surrogate mothers to carry cave lion embryos. This close relationship and well-preserved DNA make the cave lion a strong candidate for de-extinction efforts, giving hope that one day it might walk the earth again. Number 7. Woolly Rhinoceros 
The woolly rhinoceros was a big horned animal that lived during the Ice Age in Europe and Asia. Scientists have found many of its remains in frozen ground in Siberia, with DNA still well preserved. Its closest living relative is the Sumatran rhinoceros. This genetic connection makes it possible that scientists could insert woolly rhino genes into a Sumatran rhino's DNA and use it as a surrogate mother to revive the species. Number 8. Moa The moa were huge birds that lived in New Zealand but could not fly. Some species were over 3 meters tall and weighed as much as 250 kilograms. The moa went extinct about 600 years ago. Scientists have found moa bones and eggs with some DNA preserved, but the biggest challenge is that the moa has no close living relatives of a similar size. The closest birds are much smaller, which makes it hard to use them to carry moa eggs or embryos. Number 9. Ground Sloth Milodon. Ground sloths, like the Mylodon, were giant prehistoric sloths that lived in South America until about 10,000 years ago. Some of their remains, including soft tissues, were discovered in caves in Chile, keeping their DNA in good condition. However, modern sloths that still exist today are much smaller and very different biologically. This means it would be almost impossible for a modern sloth to carry a Mylodon baby. The only option might be to use an artificial womb in the future. Number 10. Pyrenean Ibex, Bucardo The Pyrenean Ibex, also called Bucardo, was a type of wild goat that lived in the Pyrenees Mountains. It became extinct in the early 2000s. Scientists made a famous attempt to bring the Bucardo back using cloning but it only survived for a few minutes. Its close relatives are still alive, so there is hope that with more advances in science, it could be revived someday.